coming back, um, you know, in fairness to Mitch, um, you know, I think he took a pretty good hit in Memphis, and, you know, again, the protocol, they have to go through concussion. Um, he wasn't able to do anything, you know, so it's, it's one thing, you know, when you're hurt, you kind of maybe do non-contact and keep you with him. So it was probably more, you know, my decision, the fact that he didn't really have a lot of time on his belt. But Mitch has had a good training camp. Um, I think he had a good summer. Um, and, and, I, and I think once he gets back into rhythm, he can really help us. In Atkins today? Uh, we're going to have Josh Hughes just in Canada. With Cam, uh, do you feel like he, he can help him soon? Or he can still yeah, I mean, I think Cam is going to be a terrific player. I think he can help us this year. And I think um, uh, you know, having so many games right now in a short period of time um, and then coming out of uh, the training camp with um, getting prepared to play San Antonio and then having one day in between uh, this game, which is probably better consistency wise to, to keep it like it is. But I do think that Cam's got to be an important part of this team. I've got to find a way as a coach to help him, to help him get some minutes, to help him develop and grow. And I think also his development, in large part, is going to end up being you know, how our staff can help him away from these hands, too. Um, you know, we've got a lot of confidence in DJ, too, as a season point guard. Uh, but I think Cam's got great upside. We're all excited about him and know he's going to be a good player. Talked a little bit about it this morning, but any awkward feelings being back around this magic organization? Well, I mean, I was here in the summertime for Summer League. You know, we've had. Uh, Several times where we've played games here annually, you know, once a year we've had insane tournament games here. You know, the people here in the Magic organization are great people. Um, so, you know, not really. You know, to me, that was such a long time ago for me. Um, and um, obviously, with that decision, they've had an enormous amount of success. You know, with Stan and Dwight and, and all those guys. So, you know, it's um, if anything, it feels a little different. That's the, being back in the state of Florida because it's been a while since I've been back in the state of Florida. Two guys you've coached over here, Alfred and Aaron. Yep. What do you remember about them as players? Really, really unselfish, really good teammates, um, high energy, um, guys that are very, very committed to the game, work extremely hard. Um, you know, they had a lot to do that one summer winning a gold medal. They were, Aaron was was going into his, uh, his freshman year and, and Alfred was going into I think his junior year. So those guys played a lot of minutes. Elfin started, Aaron came off the bench. Uh, but both those guys were big contributors to the team. There's a big jump in X's and O's between the program and the college team. Or is that overstated as far as only court game? I, I, you know, I wouldn't say X's and O's. I would say that the spacing on the floor is entirely different. You know, in, in, in college, there's such a, um, a battle for the low pulse block because the lead line is so narrow. You know, and obviously there's players in the league that when they catch it off the block, Lamarcus Aldridge and Kevin Durant, you know, Vucevic that can score from there, you know. But so much in college is, you know, it's so physical because the lane line is so close to the basket. That's one. And then I think you're seeing defenses are in college are a lot more packed in, you know, because of three-point line, you're not having to stretch as far as you are here. So the spacing is a lot different because of the NBA three-point line, because of a wider line. That's different. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's necessarily X's and O's and just the fact that the floor is a lot different, the space differently. There's things you can do uh, in college to do in the NBA, and there's just things that just won't translate. Um, so, um, but I think the way the game is set up here is just different. Do sure you? You, uh, you mentioned, uh, you know, your two kids in the TV interview. Any other family members or people that you've left tickets for? A lot of people the wisest here? choice I made, Kevin, was turning <laughs> that responsibility over to my wife. <laughs> so I have handled nothing with tickets. She was in charge of that. So um, I'm, I'm sure I'll get a chance to see some people from Florida. We'll, we'll, we'll come down and, um, you know, people I work with and just people we were friendly with in, in Gainesville, I'm sure. Will be. Now, a lot of people in Gainesville felt like the strangest thing that they saw from TV from the first game is you keeping your jacket on the whole time. What was that like? I don't want to get fined. So <laughs> <laughs> part of the NBA rules, i got to keep it on there. Um, what was that like? Know, it was fine. I mean, it's a little hot, but I mean, that's the reason I took it off as I get hot. But otherwise, it was fine. It was fine. I'm sure it always it's is, a, but... It's the frequency of the games. You're just getting started. You haven't had back-to-back yet this regular season. Is yep. the frequency of the games going to be a significant adjustment? Well, I think the one thing I would say that is helpful for me as a coach is the fact that you have so much veteran experience. 
you know, in the fact that some of these guys have been in the league for eight, nine years, and they've seen a lot of these teams. So their ability to absorb scout reports, their ability to make changes and tweaks coming out of timeouts, um, their ability to show them things in practice with a quick turnaround preparation-wise is, is really, really remarkable. You know, a lot of times in college when you're getting a player that's a freshman that's coming in or a sophomore, there's still not a great deal of experience they have under their belt. So it takes them some time uh, to get adjusted. Plus, the other part of that, too, is a lot of times in college you're facing teams in a non-conference schedule that you've never seen before. Um, so these guys, because there's 30 teams in the league, uh, 29 they'll compete against. You know, There's such a familiarity, I think, inside the league of personnel, actions, those kind of things. So uh, the preparation part is helpful, I think, having some better guys. Did you hear from some of your former oh. <laughs> players on the run up to, to your first game? Yeah, a lot Some of those guys reached out. Uh, well, that, those guys and even the guys in Florida reached out, which, which, which was really, really nice. Um, I got a lot of nice text messages before and after the game, which was great. Probably nice that your family doesn't have to buy a whole new color scheme, too. Yes, that worked out well. That worked out well. So, yeah, they're very, very, very happy about that.